You know, people say, oh, you should heal from your childhood. You should grow up and be an adult and, you know, live your life and make new memories. But they have to be an idiot. All of them would have to be idiots to not realize that all you are is a culmination of the experiences you've had in your life, in your lifetime. Your childhood is one of the most important times in your life because it sets the foundation for who you will become. So if you have, like me, a fucked up experience, your adulthood is not going to go well. The experiences and the things that you run to, your vices, are not going to be good. And you know... I had a pretty fucked up childhood in between the drugs with my parents, the abandonment and, you know, young people trying to step up and help me grow, but doing more damage than good. And, you know, it just the abuse for being gay and all that was happening. It just wasn't a good thing. And I heard someone say actually in a movie and I found it to be so true that your childhood is what you spend the rest of your life trying to overcome. And that, I believe. You know, as children, we don't ask to come here. We are brought here at the decision or the involuntary decision of our parents. No matter who they are. And it is really bad when you are born to parents that aren't ready for you, that didn't plan for you, that aren't prepared for you. See, it's not really about the planning because they're always, you know, great couples have surprise pregnancies, but mom and dad work. Mom and dad went to college. Mom and dad own businesses. Mom and dad are, are gainfully employed and able to handle the growth of their families. And then you have people like me. My mother had me at 17. My father was 28. That shouldn't have happened. But it happened. Nobody pressed charges then. So I'm not going to bother with it now. But the best thing that ever came out of that was me. You know, when we're young, people ask us, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to do when you grow up? When you become grown, when you're an adult? And with the help of our families, they kind of help shape what we say. They kind of put into us. We see mom and dad doing something. We want to do that. You know, it's kind of like a family thing. What we're exposed to is usually what we want to go to. What we're groomed for, what we're prepared for. And I remember being a young child in first grade and my grandmother talking to me and they knew I loved animals. It was my grandmother's decision. She said to me, oh, you should be a veterinarian. She said that to me in first grade. Do you know? I went from first grade all the way up to the second year of college before a medical withdrawal because of my health and my mental illness. And I followed that dream all the way up to college. And had I not been mentally ill and come down with bipolar disorder, acute anxiety disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder because of my childhood and because of hereditary passing, because bipolar disorder and most mental illnesses are hereditary, they pass. I would have followed that dream all the way through just to make her happy because someone was giving me the time of day. Kids know when they're not wanted. Kids know when they're fucking up the plan. Children know. They know and they can feel. See, it's not about what you say to a child. Children are empathic. They go off of emotion. They can feel you. You don't have to tell them anything. You could be saying out of your mouth, hello, darling, how are you? And they can tell you're a pedophile. 
Come on, somebody. They can tell you a child molester. You don't have to say nothing. You can be saying all the right things and a child knows I don't like him. I don't like her. No one has to prompt them. They know. And good parents, pay attention to that. Okay, well, you won't be going over there. You won't be visiting with him. You won't be having sleepovers over there. Our childhoods set the tone for the type of lives that we are going to live, that we are destined to live. But you know, amidst, because I'm going to talk about that, all the trauma, amidst all of that, my childhood did shape me. I had a lot of pain. I had to pause there because I had to process it. See, I have to take deep breaths sometimes so I won't be able to get it out so it can help you because it, sometimes it causes panic in me or sadness. But our childhood, my childhood, made me exactly who I am today. I went through hell. Every time I turned around, there was some kind of tribulation, some kind of trial. I was not spared from trials and tribulations and pain. My grandmother was the only one who had gone to college and graduated. And her children were young. They tried to help me, but they were young. And when you're young, you make a lot of mistakes. So I can't even really blame them for bad parenting. 